Computer Science for Kids. Part 8. What are loops? A computer is a machine that works with information. This information can be words, numbers, pictures, sounds, or movies. Computers can follow a sequence of specific instructions to do something. Today, we will look at loops. Let's say we give a computer instructions to complete a task. Now, we want the computer to do the same thing again. And maybe we want it to do it a few more times. We could just write the same code over again, or we could use something called a loop. A loop is when we give a computer instructions that repeat. Like a merry-go-round, a loop will tell a computer to do something over and over again until we tell it to stop. There are loops everywhere. For example, seasons follow a loop. We have spring, summer, fall, and winter. Seasons follow a specific order and repeat in a cycle of four. Sometimes we may have a code that we need to repeat. When writing a code for a computer program, we can add loops to make it easier to read and write. Let's try it. Today, we will use arrows as code. This arrow will give the computer instructions to move one box to the left. This arrow will give the computer instructions to move one box to the right. This arrow will give the computer instructions to move up one box. And this arrow will give the computer instructions to move down one box. Let's take a look at how we can use coding and loops to make this cat move. I want the cat to move three steps to the right to get to her cat food. I will need to code a specific step-by-step -step set of instructions. This is what my algorithm would look like without a loop. Now, I will add a loop to make my code easier to read and write. This is what my algorithm would look like with a loop. All right, I was able to use code to write an algorithm. This algorithm had a loop that told the computer to make the cat move three steps to the right to get her cat food. Okay, let's review what we have learned. A loop is when we give a computer instructions that repeat. We can add loops to computer programs to make it easier to read and write. There are loops everywhere from seasons to merry-go-rounds. Activity time! Today, we will write a code with loops that will help to complete a task. Take a look at the screen. I need an algorithm to help me reach my favorite snack. Here are the codes you'll need to write the algorithm. I can only move up, down, left, and right. Can you write an algorithm with loops that will help me reach my favorite snack? Pause the video here to complete your answer. Here is the answer. First, I will need to move one step to the right. Then, I will need to move two steps down. I can add a loop there to make the code repeat two times. Next, I will need to move three steps to the right. I can add another loop there to make the code repeat three times. Finally, I will need to stop. Yay! I now have my cookies. Thank you for writing the code. If your code looks different, that's okay. Here are some other codes you can write to help me reach my favorite snack. Here are a few other options. Check your code to see if your answer matches the screen. Great! Now you know all about loops. Would you like to learn more? Then be sure to watch the next video in this series, What are Computer Bugs? If you like this video, then check out Miss Dorisman's Virtual Corner for even more. If 
you are a teacher, you can follow Ms. Dorisman's Virtual Corner on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and TPT. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.